Look at him swimming around like the little fish bitch he is. Hey guys, real quick before we get into today's episode, I have a cool little announcement to make. Seeing how Uncharted Morrowind VR is, and how few people actually know about it, I have decided to make a brand new subreddit for it to help spread the word. So if you play the game, or would like to get into it, come on over and check it out. There's multiple pinned posts with all the links and guides you'll need to get started. You can share your experiences, ask and answer questions, post memes, or whatever you want. Nothing is off the table. <laughs> But none of you better be posting any manga spoilers over there, or I swear to god you'll be headed straight to the Shadow Rail. But enough about Reddit, check the link in the description below, I hope to see you over there. Now anyways, let's get on with today's episode. Hello, and welcome back to Morrowind VR. Um, in the time I have spent searching for this- oh, this is not- I gotta look! In the time I have spent searching for the Irslaku burial caverns, I've amassed a, a, a quite little- amusing party of dinosaur friends. So real quick before we head on into the caverns, I'm gonna go on a little uh, Doom Slayer rampage and murder every dinosaur friend. Now this part they call me the Doom Slayer. All right. So, anyways, we have arrived at the Urshlaku Burial Caverns. Which, by the way, I was overshooting by a ludicrous amount last time. <laughs> Ooh, shit! Big dude, big sword. Uh, not a big dude. He, he's just a he's, he's a standard-sized humanoid skeleton. I should have, in hindsight, right? I probably should have waited until my stamina was back. But ah, who needs? Who needs full stamina? Not me. Alright, what do we got up here? Another bony man. God, these guys are pathetic. They die in two hits. Take your bone me. Oh, I ate it. Ooh, that's... Kinda nasty, not gonna lie. Alright, this place is very... Eerie. I, I, uh... I see... Hold on, let me... Let me eh. Eh, wait. Eh. Alright. I mean, you got like little skull lanterns in front of- is this acid? No. Just- just steam. Alright, okay. okay. Alright, let's- gotta make some hops. Oh, I failed. Wonderful. Let's- let's go ahead and swim back over here. Alright, let, let's try to jump from up here. This seems more reasonable. All right, ah, there we go. All right, due to the spear, bony man spear. Yeah, these guys are are pretty pathetic. Not gonna lie. All right, no prob though. I was kind of expecting ghosts, if I'm being honest. Like, I I mean, I guess bony man, but that to me at least, right? If if your crypt is full of bony men and not ghosts, it means you're not burying your bodies well enough. Because if you just, you know, if, if they're able to just get up and walk around as they please, you know, you're not gluing your coffin shut is what I'm trying to say. Hippity hoppity. Garthmont's about to steal some dead guy's property. Ooh. Okay, looks like we have a possible- yeah, no, it's not possible. Alright, we have a left and a right. We're gonna go with the left. Or at least poke our head. We're not gonna commit to it yet. You, you, hey, rat? Thought you could just come over here and drink right in front of me, huh? Okay, Lateris Burial. Alright, we'll go with this one. Oh, wow. Alright. This place is very expansive. Man, I, I wish we had like a levitation spell or something, because I'm sure there's shit up here that would be awesome. Although, maybe, maybe we'll get up to there, actually. It is giving us all these- yeah, maybe it'll give us the chance to go up there. Fragile Burial. What do we- what, what, what do we got in here? An underwater door? Ooh, a spot of chest up there. Interesting. Let's see if I can cheese it. Black level 35 and it's trapped, okay? Hey, I just leveled up trying to get on there. Trying to get onto this slope. Awesome. What's that? Hey, it was a skill book. Alright, I'll take it. 
Oh, that, that, that's a mummy? That's not a statue? Oh, that's horrible. Why? I'm scarred now. I've crashed so many of these. These are mummies? Ah! Okay, I'm, I'm not able to reach it with my uh, probe. So I'm going to use my tower power. Shit, I missed. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait 24 hours. Oh, I leveled up. Cool. All right, strength, speed, and agility. Yeah, that looks good to me. All right, we're going to ready the skill. I'm going to get as tall as I can go. Boom, I hit it. I am going to get hit by a trapped thing. All right, I'm slowly dying of poison damage. All right, that was, uh, that was good. I'm fine. What is in... I can't see what's in there. Awesome. There we go. Cup? No. A book about Daedra, I guess. It's worth 50 bucks. I'll take it. Shitty book. Uh, fortify intelligence and a potion of burden. Overall, not worth it. Not gonna lie. Alright, I spent way too much time in the chest room. Alright, so we have this rite passage. See, now that I know these are mummies, I I I'm very sad. Alright, let's go to the rite passage. Bone man. Oh, that's a strong bow. Or arrows, at least. Okay, those are just standard arrows. Dire Viper Arrows. Poison 5 to 11 points. Alright, well, will gank them. Our inventory is so full, but it's all of little stuff like ingredients, books, and potions. I gotta go through that and add it to our Kraken Alchemy chest. Alright, looks like we got a dead adventurer on the floor over there, but a little, little battle between the Bone Men and the Ghost. No. Spell privilege revoked. Alright. Nothing. Nothing. Who is this poor dude? Looks like a Nord, maybe? Dead adventurer. Yes, most of my loot was ripped from the hands of dead adventurer. <laughs> Iron spark cleaver. Alright, that's pretty much all of use that he's got for us. Ooh, looks like there's like an enchanted chitin axe up here. Fire bite war axe. It's not worth very much. Before we go to the underwater route, let, let's rest until healed and quick save. Now, from the last episode, I do have a potion of water breathing, but it's only good for like 15 seconds. It's a trapped level 10 door. Uh, lockpick success, okay. Disarm trap fail, disarm trap fail, disarm trap fail, disarm trap fail, disarm trap fail. Why, why is it taking me so long to disarm this trap? I literally unlocked it on, on my first try. What the hell is this? Trap disarmed. Beautiful. Gonna get a nice deep breath, Garth Mart, because I'm assuming that there's probably gonna be water where we're going. Let's 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 head on down. What the it's not even a loading zone, it's just an uh, it's just a door, huh? I'm guessing that the way we chose was probably not the right way to go. Mm, then again. What what skeleton reproduction be like? You thought your little reproduction spell could help you, didn't you, buddy? Well, you failed! Because you're up against the G-Man! Legendary- It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh my god, you're all- I always do this! I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I-I go into situations and vastly overestimate my combat skills. Alright, well, do we got any fat nuts left? No, but we do have some of those health potions I bought. Alright. We'll take one of those bad boys. Damn, those are some good ones. No wonder those were so expensive. All right, I can live with that. Find you piece of shit. We're gonna daydrick up on your ass. Eh? What is your problem? You've got some goddamn sp Zeus spear over here. All right, all right. Uh, cheap restore health. We'll drink two of those. God, they really are cheap, aren't they? Wow. I would probably need to drink all seven of those to see any significant level of improvement. No, I, I do not feel confident with that at all. Why is this dude so strong? You know what? I bet this is going to probably be the dude. Ooh! Oh, no, 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 no. This is probably going to kill us right here. This dude is so effing strong, it's not even funny. Let's see. We can always hit him with some magic. I usually always forget about magic. Then again, we're getting really good at uh, sword stuff, so... Destruction went up. Look at him swimming around like the little fish bitch he is. 
I'm out of magic, but I'm pretty sure I got a bunch of magical potions. There we go. See, there we go. We're making progress on it. Progress indeed. He can't seem to figure out how to get up here. Can always play with the long bound longbow. I do have those. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. I, I apologize because I know it's probably painful to watch. But we're gonna go bound longbow. Hey, we do have a fat nut left. Wonderful. Alright, let's try to get this longbow. There we go. I don't think I've hit him a single time with this yet. Yeah, this spot is great because he can't seem to get up here. Oh, nailed it! Did that kill him though? Are you dead? Rule number two, the double tap. Silver Viper Skewer. That's a poison spell. All right, well, we'll hold on to it for now. It's all that guy had. All right, back, back through the door. That dude was tough. I half expected him, even though he wasn't wielding the bow we need, I was half expecting that to be the skeleton of Sulcinopold or whatever the dude's name is. But into the further into the cave we progress. What's that? Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Closed ebony helmet. That's worth a lot. <laughs> Too bad that we chose medium armor. Oh, another skill book, probably. Illusion. I couldn't care less about that, but I'll still take it. Eh, what's on this one? What, what, what is that? It's like green. Oh, it's a glass shield. Oh, it's worth $20,000. So it's not better than our shield, but damn, it looks cool, though. This is before Glass looked like Elvin with green accents. This is Scudson! What is that? Is that Branson? Alright, so even though this wasn't the path that we needed, it was still a very good path. I hope you guys enjoyed that Attack on Titan VR games video. Uh, it's always nice to play something a little bit different. I don't know. I'll try to stick mostly to Morrowind though, because I know that's what people like. And honestly, that's kind of what I like too. What has this dude got here? The Four Suitors of Benethia. Restoration. All right, what do you have on you? Not much. But yes, for this video, so the last Morrowind or two, it might have just been just the last one. I, I've been playing with the image stabilization, and I still am with this one. But the only difference is uh, I'm not using the keep upright setting. So before, it would always stay like this no matter what. But now I can turn my head at like off angles and stuff. I don't know if that'll still be too shaky, but, I don't know, let me know, let, g give me the feedback on it, of course, we can always go back to that way, uh, or we can stick with this way, this way I can get a little funky with it, but, we'll see, we'll see what you guys like. Damn, this place is a massive branching complex of, of, of skeletons and ghosts. Ooh, an underwater thing. What is this? Drow holy shit! Drow Curus. Oh, Armor rating 73. Condition is perfect. And it's worth five thousand dollars. 73. That's gotta be better than this orcish one. Oh yeah. And it's medium armor? Well, there we go. It looks strange, especially when mixed with bone mold and orcish. But I it's a lot better. A fantastic addition to the Garth Mart uniform. Wow, this place has been awesome for loot. Oh, I'm getting really bad vibes from this room. There's a dead guy there, and I already see two skeletons. All right. Here we go. You know, I never really realized this, but when Garth Bart gets hit, he actually makes, like, the hurt noises, like, like, like in Skyrim or any other game. But I never realized that, that like, my character actually had a voice. And it's the same exact, like... <clears throat> Let's not make this official, Outlander. It's that same, like, raspy-ass Dark Elf voice. That's awesome. Oh, that might be the first time ever that the Daedric Longsword has run out mid-combat. Some of these guys are pathetically easy. Like, they go down in one or two hits. Sometimes, though, like, these two bastards, they're unreasonably tough for no reason. Like, like they both just had, like, iron swords and iron shields. They should not have been as tough as they were. What are these? Daedric darts! Wow, look at how cool that those look! Awesome, yeah, we'll take both of those. They're worth 4,000 apiece. So now I have th those, those, those Daedric darts and our two carved ebony darts. Awesome. I think we might just hold on to those, or at least one of each is like little collectible items, because they're, they're kind of cool. They're, 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 they're just cool. Alright, well, they didn't have, uh... 
Sul Cinepold's bone biter bow over here, so time to turn back. But yeah, I mean, this place, now that I actually know where it is, it, it's not too far from the camp, so I mean, you know, if I just keep finding a whole bunch of legendary stuff again and again and again, I can always just come back here. We're already rolling in cash. I mean, we, we got, what? Yeah, 5,400 bucks. So, I, you know what I might start doing off camera? is I, I did it a little bit before, but I'm, I might keep doing it. Just sort of training our, our lesser magical skills. Because we we've had a levitate spell since like episode 3. But even with full magicka, 0% chance to cast. So if I can get, I believe that, what, what is that, alteration? Yeah, if, if we get our alteration up a little bit, and maybe our conjuration. Start summoning stuff, filling up soul gems. You know, that, that would be cool. Oh god, it's just gonna be taunting me this whole time, isn't it? Because you know that there's stuff there and there. I mean, I'm looking at something right now. Alright, I know some of the people who watch these are big Morrowind fans. If there is loot worth taking in this cavern from, like, these little floating things, if you happen to know, let me know. And I will get, like, a, an enchanted levitate item or spell, I mean, or, or just get high enough to cast a spell. And we'll come back and loot all these little floaty rock things. Because... You know, I, I don't want to miss out on something really bomb. And these things are everywhere. Ugh, that's so irritating. Alright, uh, Kakuna Burial. Kakuna Matata? I had no idea that this place would be such a large, like, I figured it would just be like in Skyrim or whatever. You come and it's like, you know, like, like one of those Draugr places, ancient Nordic ruin. You know, like, oh, there's, there's some dead guys and whatever, but like, it's nothing crazy. No, th this is like a burial complex. Eh. No! Hey, I made it that time. Awesome. Climbing the ranks slowly but surely. Titan short sword. Whoa, what did that guy just hit me with? Oh, there's two of them. Alright, uh, 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 Diffin Katana. Why are there so many dead adventurers here? I'm guessing I'm, I must not be the first person they claim to be the Nereverine, huh? No! Oh, that poison did me in, huh? Shitty. Yeah, I mean, it's these skeletons, man. They hit you with these viper arrow things that poison you 5 to 11 points. That shit sucks. Alright, so real quick, I'll go ahead and loot all of the stuff. Alright, we still have our new chest piece, though. That's good. Oh my, that is shit your pants town right there. I've always had a bit of a thing with heights, and yeah, being in VR, that, that that's not helping anything. I'll tell you that much. All right, is this the last room? No, looks like we got at least one more. Hey, you know what? I should install that mod that makes plants actually work like plants instead of containers. Uh, actually found out about it through the Morrowind VR subreddit created by me. I'm sure I put my little. I'm sure I already mentioned this in the video, but uh, go ahead and check it out if if uh, if you if you're if you know if you've been playing the game or if you would like to play the game, it's pretty cool. I think we're like 215 and was strong currently, so come on and check it out. Oh, he's got different arrows. Vesting Viper. Wow, so weakness to poison and poison. What a. I mean, it's smart, but I'm over encumbered from from arrows. I'm massively over encumbered. Is this because I'm poisoned? No, it doesn't appear to be. Let's see, there's still those two pieces of shit, and they really did me in last time. Alright, okay, okay. Can I cheese this? I'm gonna try to cheese this. Alright, I'm gonna try to cheese this even more. I'm currently walking through the wall. Oh yeah. My my VR guardian is up and everything. Am I cheesing it? Does this work? All right. Hold on. No, we're cheesing it even further. Eh. Eh. Can't even see. All right. Fine. The game won't let me cheese it that hard, and I'll give it that much. Gotta admit, though, it would have been pretty funny, though. <laughs> what? What is this? Cruel frame ball ring. It's kind of a crappy ring thing, but. I think it's guaranteed, right? So I can just machine gun it, and then that'll recharge over time. So you know what? That's actually pretty awesome. Same with the Ring of Healing. Even though it's kind of shit, I always forget that things recharge automatically in this game, so I don't have to worry about that. 
like with how much we abuse this katana, it would be a very expensive item to um to maintain if if, if it didn't recharge. All right, we 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 got him. We got him. I'll take your enchanted arrows, but nothing else. Another another dead adventurer. Why are there so- this is the third dead adventurer I've encountered in here, and I don't think I've ever encountered one before. These are all false Nerevars. Am I- am I the Nereverine, or, or was that a drug-induced vision that Caius had of me? You know, he snorts a line of crushed up moon sugar and is like, <gasps> That prisoner! He's the one! Nerevar! Was, was the Emperor really involved in that, or was this a Caius- is this a Caius-employed scheme? Am I gonna be the Nino, Nerevar in name only? Like, I I'm not actually special in any way, shape, or form. You know, I just happen to be the best fighter that's ever come across this place and, you know, been sent on all these tasks. Makes you think, doesn't it? I don't know. Until Garth Mart starts having some supernatural ab abilities, right? Like the ability to shout or, or you know, wh whatever. Then uh, I'm not going to be buying it. All right. Now, I bet there's there's probably something up there. But I see. Oh, there's definitely there's two chests up there. I'm definitely getting to some of this stuff. Oh, I'm wasting so much time doing all this. All we needed was the bow of Suelcinopold. And now I'm like, oh, there's some strange mountain chests. I, I, I must, I simply must know what's in them. Too bad this shit is in Oblivion, right? Because then what I could do is I, is I, 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 I could do the speedrunners. Why would I save it here? No, 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 no. Because if this was Oblivion, I could do the speedrunners thing where I dupe a bunch of paintbrushes and then just start throwing them. And then I could run up them like a staircase. I can't do that here. And this is a 0% levitation, so I can't... All I can do is be taunted. This sucks. Because even if I could hop up to this thing, right? I could probably... <sighs> oh, you know what? I just thought of something. Okay, this might kill me. But, we have Scrolls of Icarian Flight. Alright, this... Okay, okay. Oh, no, no. We did it! <laughs> that was awesome! Garth Mark using his brain. Oh, yeah. Okay, definitely gonna unequip that. And I don't want to waste these so lightly, but... I guess we can judge what's up here, because that's garbage. Just a bunch of potions and stuff, huh? I'm so disappointed. That is so disappointing. I was so excited. But there's nothing up here. It's not worth it. It's just a bunch of random potions. And nothing else. That's it. That's so disappointing. All that time I spent. And just garbage. Just, just nothing. Alright. Well, we got another... Uh Thing that I can try to jump up to but probably uh oh I think I might have got stuck there see I can cheese it with the scrolls of Icarian flight but I'm not gonna do it if it's not like something super bomb because those things are so rare you know you literally only get three of them uh, admittedly this 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 is pretty bomb but it's light armor though I'll give it this at least that stuff was like actually worth it because there was like super expensive stuff in there so I will use one of our very rare scrolls of Icarian flight to get up here oh it's it does not like it when you use the scroll of Icarian flight indoors it really does not but all right we're gonna we're, we're not gonna equip that so this is pretty cool devil devil cephalopod helm spell absorption 20 to 30 points and bound cure us for 60 seconds we're probably not gonna like use it, use it, but it's still cool to have, and it's a unique enough item that I'm willing to to, to waste the scroll of Icarian flight on it. All right, I am over encumbered though, so we gotta take a look here at that. I can just keep feathering us through here for right now, and then just keep resting in between. All right, that's what I'm gonna keep doing. So onwards with our little quest. This is gonna suck, but at least I'll level up my, uh, I assume this is alteration quite a bit. 
All right, we are in what must be the last room. Juno Burial. All right, I am gonna drop this right here. Hopefully, yeah, that's pretty noticeable. I should not forget that. It's cool that I can just spam these. That's awesome. I gotta, I gotta remember that because that's just a bunch of free range damage. It's strange. That's like the. It's just so out of place. That stone pillar. There. Ah, whatever. We don't need it. God, I feel like I've wasted so. Like I feel like I haven't done anything, and I've already been recording for what? Almost an hour, and all I've done is just basically loot this cave along the way. No significant progress being made. That's okay though. Yeah, last 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 one was was a bit of a dialogue heavy episode. This one's this one's a cut of the action. Oh no! I walked right into that guy's arrow. Ooh, okay, we might be getting places now. Definitely getting some like man-made architectural stuff. I'm gonna re-up the fiend katana real quick. Oh, it's a fast little thing. Eh. Oh, this is this is a powerful spirit right here. Maybe this is the ghost of Sulcinopold. Holy shit! It, the, yeah, the wraith of Sulcinopold. Ectoplasm. I accidentally ate his ectoplasm. The bone biter bow of Sulcinopold. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of a piece of shit, but, uh, if that's what, you know, if that's what that guy wanted, that's, that's what he wanted. Alright, now, there's definitely more stuff up here again, I, I can already tell, but, we can, oh, maybe not here. Well, there's that, and there's that. So I'm gonna grab these two things, and then we'll, we'll start heading back to the, uh, Barrow Caverns. So, yeah, this was a massive, uh, undertaking, this, this cave was. I did not expect this to take up the entire episode, but uh, whatever. Sometimes you just gotta explore an Urshlaku burial cavern. Alright, then there's nowhere left to go up, except for a couple of these places. Now, before we leave, I, I could hop around with them scrolls of flight again. Ugh. Like, what is this? Wizard staff value is ten thousand dollars. Blunt weapon, two-handed. Fortify unarmored for a hunt for ten points by 120 seconds, and levitate. Ooh, we might actually keep this. Can I live with only having one scroll of Icarian flight left, though? That's the real question. All right, so we are going to keep the wizard staff, right? Because the wizard's staff allows us to fly, even though we've wound up using two of our Icarian flight spells, or, or scrolls, right? As long as I keep one that I can, you know, play with, when I, when I, when I deem fitting, that's fine. Because now with this, even though our skill is too low to actually use Levitate, this should theoretically allow us to fly. Now, the real problem that I'm facing is I'm over encumbered by 17 pounds. And I can't figure out what to drop. And the real problem is, anything I drop up here, pretty much has to stay up here. Uh, and I haven't even picked this chest yet. Which, I can only rest on solid ground. How am I not on solid ground? Alright, here's where we're, we're gonna drop that. That's still not enough. We're gonna drop that. And we're gonna drop that. Okay. Okay. So now, I'm gonna rest, but how is he- Oh, cause I'm flying! Yeah! Now what happens if I unequip- Oh, what happens if I unequip the wizard staff? I'm still flying. That makes me anxious. Do I get a timer on this? Two minutes. But I kinda wanna rest though? So I can use my tower power? What's in the box? Okay, a bunch of jewels and stuff. So we are definitely keeping the wizard staff and all the jewels and, and, and skill books and stuff that we found up here. But I am going to have to wait here, not only for the wizard staff to wear off, because I can't rest on solid ground. So I, lit I literally have to physically wait here. And then I have to figure out how I'm going to dump basically 20 pounds worth of stuff. Am I really gonna have to wait here for this to wear off before I can do anything? Because that's kind of irritating. What happens if I just drop the staff itself? Am I still flying? 
Ugh, oh, I'm still flying. Seriously? Seriously. Okay, okay, fine, whatever. Letting me know. Wow, I'm over encumbered? How fascinating! By the nine, I'm over encumbered. There's no way. You are yanking my chain right now. I'm I, I Garthmart, am over encumbered. Fascinating. Why does it keep showing me this? Like I'm not pushing any buttons or anything. It's just you're over encumbered. You're over encumbered. You're over. Hey, I I know that. Okay, you don't have to. You don't have to yell at me. Jesus. Oh, okay. That seemed to fix it. So did you, uh, did you catch the game last night? Hey, the wizard staff is worn off. Okay. All right, we're gonna have to act fast here, fellers. I only have enough magic to cast it one time. <laughs> and if I fail it, then I have to wait the entire... All right, I just have to keep telling myself that it's for the levels. There we go, run. I only get 10 seconds of free movement. Run, run, Garth Mart. All right, run, cause it won't let me. It won't let me wait in the water. I learned that the hard way. Can't rest while enemies are nearby. Why are there enemies nearby? I'm assuming it's cause earlier we never went that right way. I'll have to go over there and clear that area out, just so that we can keep, you know, trailing our little trail of stuff. I'm literally on my knees right now. And it's still not letting me... Because this is a lockpick. And this is not a, not a trapped chest. So I'm doing it correctly. But the problem is, like, I, I can't seem to get close enough to this. Where it will register... Oh, what? No, I did it. I did it. Okay, okay, okay. Journey my lockpick. I am not attacking currently. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not attacking at all. I'm literally sitting on the ground... Journeyman's lockpick. Finish, okay. Fine, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll put it away. Journeyman's lockpick. There we go. Okay. No, of course now it's not. Wait, wait. I gotta find the sweet spot. There it is. Boom. Was it worth it? For $28 to be on my knees like an animal? Ugh. No. Can't say that it was. But we're doing it. Why can't I get up this? This slope is so not high. All right, I, I made it up. Some scrolls. Shit, is this a four-way thing? Okay, because that's where I came from. That must be the way to go. This must be that other way. Because I definitely didn't come from this way either time. So I'm just going to take a quick little, quick little look over here. And unless there's some super dope stuff, we, we, we got to leave it. Silver Spirit, no. Sort of enchanted halberd or axe. No. I'm sure there's something up there that I can't get to. Silver staff? No. Oh wait, you know what? I can get to it now, actually. Oh yeah, Garthmart's taking flight. Yeah, that was so worth an Icarian flight scroll. I'm telling you that much right now. Because now we can swim through the air. Oh, it's fantastic. And mesh through the ceiling. Garthmart has become an unstoppable being of pure power! This is so cool. Being able to fly like this and be- oh. This is fantastic! And it doesn't even use magic or anything, it's its own separate little guaranteed spell. The unarmed part of it is kinda useless, like, I don't ever see us go on full MMA or anything, but oh. The flying is- is beautiful. It- it- it's- it's spectacular! All right, actually, you know what? I'm gonna fly over here. We're gonna kick this guy's ass. Okay. It's strange how I can be over encumbered well in midair. I, I, I find that to be a little strange. I'm gonna try, I don't know if this is gonna work, to go into the water and then, no, I'm still flying, great. Still can't rest because enemies are nearby, all right. 
The, see, just the problem I have is all the st like all of the wh why does it keep doing that? All of the stuff over here is shit that we do not want to get rid of, right? Because typically, it's all worth a lot. No, it's not. What am I doing? And we can move again. Awesome. Incredible. Can't believe I wasted all that time for nothing. What can I say? Garth Mart's a bit of a hoarder. I'll cut most of it. Don't worry. At least I'll do my best. Who knows? Who knows? I just... This cave, man, it does things to people. I I've seen dead people everywhere here. Yeah, enemy nearby my ass game. There's no one around. Why did all these guys at the beginning respawn? Longblade 58. Garth Mart's getting his ass kicked a little. More than a little, and now I'm getting scared. <laughs> so if I've learned anything this episode, it's that... Unlike Oblivion and Skyrim, Morrowind, everything lies in your enchantments. Because enchantments are guaranteed, there is no chance to fail or whatever, and they recharge. So once you get a something that's really good and enchanted, you're set for the entire game. <laughs> and if that doesn't tell you I've been in here too long, that these two a-holes, uh, respawned, I don't know what will. Alright, this one, uh, you know what, I'm just gonna make this one a long one. We're at an hour and 20 minutes on the recording, but I'll just go ahead. We're gonna head back to the Urshlaku camp, and we are going to turn in this quest. See, it's a good thing I killed all my dinosaur friends, because I would not have all the patience to deal with them now. Ah, uh, no, piss off. Why are there so many dinosaur friends out here? I killed all the ones that were following me. I must have been in that cave for days. I, actually, I literally was in that cave for days because I kept waiting for my tower power to come back. Oh, these Urslaku people, they better have some sort of merchant or trader because if they don't, that's going to suck. All right, we were talking to the Ashken Yam. Hello, my friend. Hit the road. Wow, way to greet me, buddy. Wow, just so rude. So, Outlander, you have completed the initiation rite. Why, yes, sir, I have. This is my father's bone biter pole. You have completed the initiation rite. I name you Gothmart, clan friend of the Ashlanders. Keep my father's bow and bear it with honor. You are a friend of our tribe, and you may rest in any Urshlaku bed, but do not harm any other tribe members or take their things. And now I will fulfill my other promise. Go to the wise woman's yurt, and Nibani Mesa shall examine you and test you against the Nereverian prophecies. Your journal has been updated. Well, thank you. I'm probably going to sell your father's bow, because not only am I not an archer, uh, it kind of sucks. What the? Oh! <laughs> Holy shit, that was a jump scare like no other. I don't know if this was a scripted event or if this just was completely coincidental. But that made me crap my pants so hard. Well, one final level up to end off the day. Again, I don't know if that was like a scripted thing, but... Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, guys, let's, let's do a quick little level up here. Wait, resting here is illegal. No, he he, he deemed me a, a the Dashlander friend, right? I could, I could sleep wherever I want. Fine, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna sleep in your bed, since you said I can sleep in any bed. Alright, strength, endurance, and willpower. Okay, wow! My heart is still racing a little bit from that one. That was, that was shit your pants city right there. Alright, alright, alright. Well guys, this one has been quite a long one, and I imagine it'll be pretty good. We got a lot of awesome stuff. I gotta figure out if I can sell stuff. I'll have to do some stuff off camera here. But next episode, we will go talk to the wise woman to further our training into the Nerevine prophecies. But until then, this has been Craziest Kraken. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>